What's going on DTBG family? My name is Steven Trin, the host of the DTBG TV channel. Today, guys, we're going to be resuming on the Airbnb project, the short-term rental, whatever you want to call it. Either way, guys, we're going to be painting the trim today, a really nice white color, a semi-gloss, and we also purchased paint for the walls as well. So we're going to be doing gray paint. It's a really light gray. It's called Element. And then the white, it's just uh, your white from beer. Let's go. Let's have some fun and let's see how it goes. So what we needed, guys, we started with the Rooster Pro paintbrush. Also needed some blue scotch tape, some sanding blocks, 120 grit. Last but not least, that bare white paint in the semi-gloss. And this is what we started doing, guys. I did try the orbital sander, but it just wasn't getting in the nooks and the crannies like I needed to. So that 120 grit um, block sander was really, really helpful for this trim project, guys. We also had to lay down that blue scotch tape here just to get those clean, crisp edges that we want on a paint job and also to protect the hardwood floor as well. So we went around the whole trim here patiently. Um, and as you guys can see, and this is what you're going to want to do. If you have anything that you need to adjust, anything that you need to nail in, something that's loose, you want to do that prior to getting that paint down. That way, you can paint over the nails, you can paint over any adjustments that you made, and it'll look really clean and professional at the end. Here we go. We're starting to lay down some of that paint, and as I'm laying it down, all I want to do is just get a lot of it on there. Um, not too much, not overdoing it, but just getting a good layer on there so that we don't have to do too many coats. But less is always more when painting, right guys? So definitely uh, sway on a, the less side as opposed to applying more. So here we go. We're just riding around, going through the whole room. And the key here is just taking your time, taking it easy, uh, even coats, and keeping it pushing. All right, guys. The first layer here, as you can see, the brown's still peeking out a little bit. But once we go on to the second layer, as you can see here, super clean, super nice, super fresh, ready to go, baby. TBG family, guys, good morning. Today is the next day. The trim is completely dry now. What we're gonna be doing is taping off the wall and painting the walls in this room, all right? We're gonna do one room at a time. That way we don't have to keep moving stuff back and forth. So this is definitely one of the most tedious jobs of the painting, and it's really just taping off the ceiling, taping off the floors and things of that nature. Trying to be precise. You wanna try to take your time going through this too. That way you can get some crisp lines. The more you take your time, the better lines you're gonna get in my opinion. And here it is. We also did the floor on top of the trim this time so that we can lay down a plastic sheeting, guys. It's looking good. Really, really, really good. Here goes that plastic sheeting I was telling you about. Shout out to my dad, man. He hooked me up with this. Saved me a couple hundred bucks. But if you go into Home Depot, it's going to cost you a couple hundred bucks just for some sheeting. And here's how it looks afterwards. This one fit perfectly. After mixing up our paint, our five-gallon paint bucket here. It's time to go. Similar to the trim, guys light coats trying to cover as much as you can however not worrying too much about perfection because this is just that first layer okay we're gonna do a second layer and then a little touch up layer at the end this is how i approached the whole house and um, i had a lot of fun doing it that way i didn't really look at any videos prior to doing this i kind of just you know use my common sense of what would work for me um, as you can see in that right corner there i had to patch up some stuff that was falling off i even used my christmas gift here man the gun made a little appearance but the paint was too thick so it was getting caught up so i went right back to the rod and uh, my beautiful girlfriend was helping me out as well and we just uh now we're taking turns right she was doing the touch-ups i was doing the second coat and i was just going in a circle so we were basically working on the opposite sides of each other to try to um just basically be efficient and it really worked out well look how nice it's looking how much it changed this is how it looked at the end sheesh man it's like a brand new room guys i'm so excited to finally furnish this once this is going to be done Got a couple more steps. Here goes the next room right here. This is the dining room slash little computer area that we're going to be doing, like a little work desk right in that right corner. And I did the same thing. Plastic sheeting down, um, scotch tape around the trim after painting the trim. And here is that first layer of paint. I really like this color gray. It's a little different than what we expected because of the yellow. Now, if we had some white on the bottom, it would look different. However, the yellow really turned that gray into a different color. Um, and I'm not too mad about this gray either. You know, it, it wasn't what I expected, but it's definitely a beautiful gray. And um, it's looking really good, guys. And this room right here was way easier than the living room. Way less space. Really exciting to see all of this coming together with just some paint. It really changed the vibe of this whole living space, guys. 
here goes into the kitchen right onto the next room this was all within a couple days and i really enjoyed it i even sanded down the cabinets there just a little sneak peek however uh we did the same thing guys plastic sheeting down moved the fridge out of the way a little bit so that i can get behind there got that first layer down and as you guys can see that gray is looking really nice here in the kitchen the kitchen has really high ceilings compared to the rest of the house um and uh had a little difficulty getting where the cabinets are here without you know getting paint on the cabinets getting paint on um the island however hey it worked out fine we just took our time and went around in full circle and look at this beautiful results here i think this looks amazing guys and i can't wait for our next video where we start to work on some of this stuff like the cabinets as well as that laminate tabletop there man it's going to be really really nice guys and here is the next room we are going to be working on that entryway which used to be white and if you guys realize the white is not very much different from the gray so this is what the living room and all the other rooms would look like if there was not yellow on the table so here i am putting a little bit of sheeting down really didn't need none on the brick side and started laying that paint over we did two layers and some touch up and as you can see look at the white trim and then look at the gray right the gray is kind of like an off-white almost um but in the house it's going to be a little different so the entryway here it is it's going to be all gray with that white on the trim and then we're going to be painting the doors one of these days as well i believe this is going to be the last room within the house that we're going to be painting aside from the main bedroom all right we got the kitchen we got the living room the dining room as well as the entryway to get into the uh, airbnb right now we just got to paint these walls here which it shouldn't be too much i'm going to cheat a little bit and paint right behind here as opposed to taking this big heavy mirror off it's anchored on there pretty well so i'm going to leave it be but we're going to paint here here uh take off this fixture a little bit and maybe the bulb and paint behind it so that we get a good coverage on each side of the fixture and we're off guys skim coated a little bit here where the light fixture used to be had to fix that real quick also fixed the tape here on the very next slide um, we had to tape up a little bit there did a little skim coating there and just a couple other spots then we started to paint really quickly i mean of course this room is much smaller than any other room we did so this one took relatively quickly two layers went around with the rollers the nine inch and then the little three inch as well as the touch up paint brush at the end and that's going to be all of the painting we're doing for this video guys i appreciate you guys for coming through tune in next week to see what we're getting into remember always dare to be great until next time baby deuces